As soon as you come to Germany for studying or working, one of the most important things to know about is the postal system in Germany. We ourselves took a lot of time in getting familiar with the postal services. When we looked YouTube for the information regarding the postal system in Germany, we hardly found some. We thought of making video on this topic to guide you. So, so let's, let's get, get started. started. What's up guys? I'm Palak Lakhani and with me is Kapsha. In this channel, we make educational videos focusing mainly on studying, working and living in Germany. So if you are new here, you can press the bell icon below to get all our future videos and if you like this video, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Now, once you are in a new country, there are a lot of things to look forward to. If you landed in Germany for work or study purpose, it doesn't matter. You need to watch this video till the end. Before diving into the topic of how German postal system works, let's take a quick look into the history of the German postal system. By the year 1989, Deutsche Bundespost was one governmental body under which post means Deutsche Bundespost, Post Bank and Deutsche Bundespost Telekom were working. But later they divided. In the year 1995, the Deutsche Post working under German government was privatized and later in 2002 merged with DHL to become a giant logistic company of the world. Interesting, isn't it? First, let's talk about sending a letter. If you are planning to send a letter within Germany, then you might need to know the format of writing address in standard German format, which is your name, your street name and number, your postal code and your city. If you are sending it outside Germany, then don't forget to include your state and your country. Once your letter is ready, you have three options to post it. Option number one, by heading to the post office or kiosk. Now, if you are not familiar with the term kiosk, then it is a one-stop shop for buying cigarettes, coffee, carbonated drinks, chocolates, etc. Option number two, visiting Deutsche Post website and buying a stamp. Now here we show you how to buy it. In your web browser, type in Deutsche Post, then you will get the option and then here you will get Deutsche Post Depots for Deutschland. Click on it. Here you will get options for the brief marken online kaufen that is the stamps you can buy online. Uh, the standard brief national that is the standard letter size in Germany is uh, of this size you can see here and that is of the price 80 cents. So we are going with this one the standard brief select this one feature of online buying stamps is really helpful and I think you will agree with me also on that. So we have here three more features we can add to this that is if we want a letter to get prioritized then we have to pay one extra euro but then a letter will reach faster than earlier then you can have you can also get an Einschreiben for your letter that an Einwurf we have, which we have already discussed in standard or, or, or Eigenhandisch you have to pay more money for all this and then lastly, we have the theme thing that is motif, which is written here. That is, you can select any theme which you want. Here is the whole list of the themes. You can select from one of them. Suppose we believe the builder we have selected and then we have a lot of uh, options out here. But from here, we only select right now this We are Bleiben zu Hause. So here we have it. Now we'll go to the cart. The good part about the theme thing is you don't have to pay anything for it. So you can use it. Now you have selected a stem for a standard brief of 80 cents. Now let's go to the cart. Here you have to check in the conditions with, uh, for buying the stem. So just check in here and then go to the next step. Here it will ask you that how you want to pay. So if you want a receipt of payment by email or post then here you have to write information about yourself your name your address your telephone number and your email if you don't want to get the resh no that is the bill then you can here check in that is you don't need it so you just have to write an email here here it's asking that how you want to pay through paypal through online Uberweisung, Porto Kase or credit card. 
You can only use online Uber Rising option when you are using Giro Pay, Sparkaze, or Folks Bank. So you can only do it if you have account in these banks. If not, then you have option for PayPal, Porto Kaze, and credit card. So I'm selecting here PayPal and then going to the next step. So here it's my bill. Here you can type in your email address or phone number which is attached with your PayPal account and go further on with your payment. That is the summary of all your payment and how, uh, all of the things. And finally, when you are done with your payment, then you will go to the fourth step of Upschluss and your stamp will be ready to get printed. It's simple, right? Then you can stick this stamp on your letter and put your letter in the nearest post box. And option number three, utilizing handy porto feature by Deutsche Post for buying the code, which is equal to the stamp. And then finally putting your letter in the nearest post box. Now here is how you can utilize this special feature by Deutsche Post. So first you have to download a post mobile application from Google Play. And after downloading the application, you can see here there is an option called Porto. So you select this option and you go to the post carton and briefe. And then there are three options, post carton, briefe and grocery briefe. That means large uh, letters. So uh, the handy porto feature is available only for postcard and briefe. So first we'll select postcard and uh, it should be 15 grams. So the weight should be this much. And from here you can select the country you want to send it to. So there are a number of countries listed here. And then you can select here Selbst Ausdrucken, which means that you can print it by yourself and it will cost you nothing. It's cost and fry. Or you can select this option as code per SMS. This is the special feature called Handy Porto by Deutsche Post. So as you can see here, you have to go to your SMS text message and you have to type brief and then you have to send it to double two one double two and after you send this you will get a code and this code you just have to write on your envelope or on your letter so that's it it's pretty simple you will be charged 70 cents or 1 euro 45 cents based on the dimensions and weight of your letter Buying a stamp online will be of the same charge as going to the post office or kiosk. But in Handy Porto, you have to pay more depending on the mobile phone network contract you have, as you will be charged by them. While sending a letter through a post office, you have four options. First option is pretty simple one, in which you will give the letter, they will charge you a fee and that's it. But the only drawback is that you will have no track of your letter. That means you won't receive any tracking number or tracking ID. Second option is Rookshine Einschreiben, which means your letter will return to your address if it hasn't reached the desired address. But to opt this service, you'll be charged a bit more than you would in the first step. Third option is Einschreiben Einwerf, which means recorded delivery. This service guarantees delivery to the mail or post box of the recipient. But again, you will be charged extra for this. And finally, the fourth option is Einschreiben Eigenhändisch, which means signature upon delivery. This means that if your post reaches to the desired address, the recipient has to sign a receipt upon acceptance. If you have relocated to Germany for study or work, you should expect a lot of posts in the first month because paperwork is significant in Germany. Here, Every apartment has a post box. If the name on your post and the post box do not match, then your post may lost. Make sure your name is written on the post box and doorbell of your apartment. Now comes another important topic and that's sending a parcel inside your It is similar to sending a letter. The only difference is in this case, DHL provides the parcel sending service of course, the prices are higher, that is €3.79 and €16.49, in which the maximum weight is 31.5 kg. While sending your parcel, you can opt for two options. Number one, either take your parcel to the post office or the package shop and post it, or buy a postage online. 
and only drop your packet at a packet shop or packet station. Booking post online is cheaper than doing it through post office or packet shop. Second option is pickup service. In this case, a designated personnel from Deutsche Post will visit your place according to your scheduled time. Of course, you have to pay more for this. So that's it for today. We hope this video clarifies your major doubts regarding the postal system in Germany. If you have any further questions, then don't hesitate to put them in the comment section below. If you like our video, then please hit the bell icon and, and give, give us, us a thumbs, thumbs up. See you in the next video. Till then, bye, take care and stay safe.